Hi everyone, happy Saturday. I hope everyone is doing well. I wanted to share with you all three projects that I made using Dollar Tree products. Um, one of them is fallish, one of them is Halloween, and one of them is just a, a home decor piece that I use, that I did. So I wanted to start out first with this um, little red truck. And this was made using the, um, the wooden pieces that were at Dollar Tree, the, the flat pieces. So I combined two of them together and I had to take one of them and remove all this stuff to turn it around so that I can use it on the other side the same way. And then I added one of those little crates inside there. I finished off the bottom. And then I also made like a little hood for it so that it wouldn't be all open because when you combine these two it stays all open. I don't know if you could see it or not, I made a little grill out of some silver foil paper. And the only thing I still have to do is I'm going to put some little handles on here and I'm going to um, put some wood putty in these little holes and paint them. But look how cute this came out. Look how adorable this is. And I finished it all the way around. So now both sides are the same. They have the wheel rims and everything like that because if you just turn it around, it just it doesn't have the same features on the other side of this wood piece from Dollar Tree. So in order to get that you have to remove these pieces to turn it around and then glue them back on. But it's really simple to do. So I, I did use two of them and like I said and then this is one of those little mini crates and then the front stays all open which I didn't like that. So I covered it all up using chipboard to form like the hood of the, the truck and then it's all finished inside as well as you can see wasn't that adorable and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in here like a little hail, um, hay bale and some pumpkins and then for Christmas I'm going to fill it with Christmas trees so isn't that didn't that come out cute I love it and I, I'm telling you what makes it is to finish off the front otherwise it stays open it doesn't really look like a real truck at that point but isn't that adorable look at that it looks like a real truck so that was done with the um, wooden flat pieces from Dollar Tree. So I thought that was super, super cute. Okay, so that is that project. Let me move it over to the side over here. And then I was going to share with you some of these paper clips, I mean paper clips, um, clothes pins that I made with this huge pack. It's... Um, this is from Walmart. This is from Walmart, not Dollar Tree, but you can get them at Dollar Tree. I don't know what I was thinking, but anyway, you get this whole hundred pack here, and I think it's like a dollar something. So you get a hundred in here, and I only used a few because I only did a few, but I'm going to do more of them. But I did the little clothespins to add to the bags, to the treat bags, because I give out treat bags. And I wanted to share, I, I freehand all these, I painted them. So I did one with the um, candy corns, and I don't think you could see the little orange, it has little orange polka dots I put on there as well. So I did that one. I did this one here, this one's a little ghost, and I'm going to add some stuff to the little ghost I think, I didn't like him too much. But um, here is a pumpkin, here is a little Frankenstein I did. And then I did this one with the little pumpkins. I did this one here that says boo on it. I guess it's upside down. And then um, I did this one with the little cat. So I'm going to be doing a lot more of these because like I said, I have a lot of treat bags to do. I'm, I'm going to probably do some duplicates, but I, I still want to do a witch broom and... Um, a few others that I have. So I did these and like I said, this entire hundred pack here from Walmart was less than two dollars. And now you can get a big pack at uh, the Dollar Tree as well, but I was in Walmart gro grocery shopping so I figured I'd just pick that one up there. So you see how much you can you can make out of that with this. So these are just a few that I did and I did hand paint these. 
and you could you could paper them too you, if you don't if you don't feel comfortable hand painting them you could cover them with paper and they come out equally as cute now I was thinking about doing a couple of them with paper and then hanging like a little tiny charm on them but we'll see I'm gonna do some other ones as well so I'm gonna move these over to the side and then I'm going to show you um, the home decor piece. Now, I don't know if you all remember when I showed you this feather that I had picked up from uh, Dollar Tree. And I didn't like it hanging alone on the um, on my pegboard. It just kind of lost itself. So I backed it with one of these pieces of wood from the Dollar Tree. And the reason there's two holes here is because I originally put the two holes here, but... I put it upside down so I had to take it off and put it over here but then I put this little clip on here I did paint it like a cream color I don't know if you can see it but now it hangs on my board absolutely gorgeous and this feather this golden feather is beautiful so I will um, give you a shot of my uh, pegboard once I finish with it I'm still working on it I still have several things I'm doing on it but look how pretty that is isn't that gorgeous I mean that feather is just so detailed it's really beautiful and I think they have other colors other than gold but I like the gold because I have some gold in my room here so yeah that's it's so it came out so pretty and it hangs on with this board on it absolutely perfect when you just hang it with the feather itself without a backing on it it kind of wobbles around and it doesn't look too good but it's real stable on this one so those are my three projects that I worked on and I said they were all Dollar Tree products but apparently the clothespins were from Walmart but um, they do have them at Dollar Tree as well and I really thought I purchased it from there but I guess I didn't I guess I got those from Walmart so again, my little red truck that I absolutely love. Let me move it back over here so you can see it once again. Came out so adorable. I'm just so happy with it. And like I said, I'm going to put decorate it with some pumpkins and a hail bay. And then at Christmas time, I'm going to put Christmas trees in it. But look how cute. Is that not adorable? And then I'm going to show you also um, in one of the other videos, I'm going to show you a picture of my mantle my fireplace mantle where I decorated it and a piece that I picked up from Hobby Lobby that I absolutely love it's so beautiful so that's it for now just a quick little video to show you the um, the um, projects that I've been working on and I have a lot more projects that I'm working on I'm working on some pro projects with my Cricut and also um, a couple more Dollar Tree products so stay tuned for those. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye for now.